Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and pardon the casual attire, it's not casual Friday, it's 11.39 at night. We have just been screaming busy. Just everything's been lining up, we've had a lot of things coming, a lot of new RVs coming in, a lot of sold RVs going out, a lot of customers coming through the door and on the phones. And coming in like this is one of the only ways that I can even try to break even, let alone get ahead. Um, and uh, just kind of thinking about things a little bit. When you get really busy, you get stressed. Every now and then I think it's good to just kind of focus in, recenter yourself. And I just kind of want to pass along some fortune cookie wisdom for you from your Uncle Josh. And uh, we had... Ton, uh, I, I quit counting after 20 RVs came in today. This 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 camera, I don't know how it kept up. This thing's a trooper. But uh, someone said, oh, another one came in. You have to go shoot another one. The word have to kind of stuck out at me. I don't have to do any of this. I don't have to come in in the evenings like this. My, my em employer actively encourages me not to do this. Go home, see your family, get some sleep, you know. I wait till they go to bed and sometimes I come back in and work. Sometimes I work from home. Right now I've got enough going on, it's better that I stay here, but, um, or come back. Anyway, I'm tired, so if I'm rambling more than usual, I'm sorry. This is, really, this is just me kind of taking a break from this whole thing. I've had a lot going on and I just gotta kinda step back for a second before I dive back into it. But, uh, you know, I don't have to come in I don't have to do a lot of things. I get to. And that's a difference that I don't think enough people appreciate. I don't. I don't. I have to really remind myself of that all the time. Um, we live in a very fortunate society. And that's one of those things I don't have to do the stuff I get to. You, you know what, man? People have it so much worse. So much worse. And if, if you don't believe that, I want you to stand up right now and walk over to a sink or something and pour yourself a glass of water. And remember that there's a lot of people out there that don't even have the ability to just enjoy clean water. So, a busy day, a couple extra hours at night, in the scheme of things, really not a big deal. The world would keep turning if I didn't, if I did, if I did it, if I didn't do it, doesn't really matter, you know, but it matters to the people that work here and that's why I do it. Um, maybe there's a degree, I'm very proud of the work I do, for sure, you know, I'm not going to deny that, I'm very passionate about what I do here, I like to do a good job, I like to be successful and I may do whatever it takes kind of person. I'm not about the easy way out. I'm I'm a long haul type person, you know, long term gain over a short term benefit type person. Um, but those aren't the main reasons I do this. The, the biggest reason I come in and I do stuff like this is because we employ, I don't know, 40 to 50 people here at Halet RV. And that means every one of those people have a different household that they need to provide for. And they're the reason that I do this. Because this work that I do here, this helps make the phones ring, the emails come in, the conversations start. And that's what, at the end of the day, helps make all the livelihoods happen around here. Now we try to do our best to make it right. You know, we try to do it the right way. But whenever I feel like cutting that corner, all I have to do is look out at any one of these offices out here, and I look at that guy, and I think, he's got a kid, he's got a wife, he's got a mortgage, he's got a car, he's got stuff he's got to take care of. And he's in there every single day, or she, and they're not cutting the corners, so why should I? And that's why I come in late, and that's why, you know, I put in the bonus time so that we can take care of our employees because I believe in investing in people. And I think that by doing this, I'm investing in my staff. 
and hey, maybe tomorrow I'll be a little more freed up to assist them and help their, their families a little bit further. That'd be awesome. But what's also nice is they're here to help me anytime I need something, so it's always reciprocated. It's really nice to have a healthy, positive work environment like this, and that's why I don't mind coming in. So I've rambled enough in my froggy, tired, monotone voice. I think I've got enough of the little frostiness or fogginess rubbed out of my eyes that I can I can finish up here tonight. So thank you guys for indulging me. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping.